What does it mean in the estate planning world when we say you have to fund your trust? So think of your trust as a box. It's an empty box, but it has instructions and you actually give one person the key to your box. And that person is the only one who has the ability to open the box and give the contents to whomever you have named. The person that has the key is your trustee and the individuals who are entitled to receive whatever's in the box, those are your beneficiaries that you have named. The trust itself is really a document, but we're gonna call it a box for now. So funding the trust simply means transferring things into the trust. If nothing is ever transferred into the trust, all you have to give to your beneficiaries is an empty box. So how do you fund your trust? First and foremost, there are two different periods where you can fund your trust. You can either fund it during your lifetime or you can fund it at your death. If you're doing it in your death, you actually do it through your will in what we call a pour over will, where simply the will states that you want to transfer all of the assets that you own at your life, anything that you haven't specifically given away to other people in your will, that those assets will be transferred into your trust. And that's simply what a pour over will does. I actually have another video talking specifically about pour over wills, but in a nutshell, you're transferring whatever assets you haven't given away to individuals that are specified, you're going to transfer those assets into your trust. So you're basically pouring it over from your probate estate into your trust. Regardless of whether your trust is being funded during your lifetime or at death, the actual method for funding is going to be the same. The difference is whether you are going to be the one handling the funding or the personal representative that was named in your will is going to handle it. And the actual funding method depends on what kind of assets you're talking about. So for example, with real estate, we would fund the trust using a deed. So let's say I'm transferring my house into a trust. It would be a deed from me to so-and-so as trustee for my living trust. So that's how you would transfer real estate. But different assets have different mechanisms. Personal property, you'll do an assignment. Stocks and bonds, those may actually have specific instructions and forms that come out of whomever you have obtained the stocks or bonds from. They will have instructions on how to transfer ownership to someone else or something else in the case of a trust. So that's pretty much what it means to fund your trust. It's simply making sure that you put something into the box and you do it either during your lifetime or at death. If you live in the states of New York, New Jersey, and Florida and need to either have your estate plan drafted or to update your estate plan, click on the link below and schedule a free estate planning consultation with me. If you happen to live in a state other than the three that I just mentioned, not a problem. Feel free to reach out to me by either email or slide into my DMs and I'd be happy to connect you with one of the attorneys in my network. If you like my estate planning and probate tips, like my page and follow me.